everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a real goodie. I have the curated collection from Beads to Live By. I have um, a package that was sent to me to do an unboxing. So let us check this out. I will leave their website, their link below. Now, uh, Cassandra, who is the owner, told me that this is... Um, a half a package of the April Seed Bead subscription, a partial package of the two whole bead subscription, and a few pressed glass and fire polish bundle add-ons. They're optional but can be combined with subscription shipments. So you have to check out their website. They have some beautiful beads. And I also did an unboxing for last month. She sent me some stuff. She sits just she's been sending me little goodies here and there, and they're just so much fun. So let me see here. These are the beautiful oh, seed beads. Look at these. 11 O's. Oh my gosh, look at these. These are so pretty together. And then this is, let me see, look at this bead. I don't think, it's almost like, it's like a three-sided, it's got a table cut to it, and then almost like a Picasso finish, but there's three sides, so it's almost like a pinch bead without the pinch in there. Never seen this before. Very different looking. And then, um, let me see, so we have that. So we have, um, yeah, we got a few of the two hole beads. So this is just a regular single um, hole bead. Like I said, very pretty, absolutely gorgeous. And then look at these little fire polish beads. They're kind of like frosted. They're almost like a little pinkish purple with like a coppery rose gold finish. And like, you see when you, is like, when you go like this, you see little different sparkles in them. I love the coating on them. They're a little, like they have a little bit of a roughness to them when you, when you feel them. Very pretty. Give, and they, because of, um, if you, I don't know if, I'm bringing it up too close, but you can see the texture in there, and it, it just, it adds more texture to whatever jewelry you're making when you have different, you know, colors that are reflecting off of a bead like this. It's not just a regular matte bead. We have that, and then this beautiful fire polish. Look at that, how pretty that is. This is, I think this is a 4.0. If I'm not mistaken, four millimeter, I mean, um, but it's kind of got like, it's almost like a caramely color with a light cream in between. It almost, if you look at it up close, I know this is a weird way to describe it, but it almost looks like a leopard print, but it's just because you have the white cream and then you have the caramel color in between it, and like little spots. And then there's like, different hues bouncing off of it, like a little bit of a reflective gold, almost a little bit of like a rose gold. It's just really pretty. And this has like a little more of a pink to it. Just so pretty. You see, I like turning them so you can get like a, hopefully that's still in, in a view. So yeah, so look at that, how pretty that is. And then this is a beautiful pearl bead. Like an ambery color. It's more of a cool color. It's pretty. It's almost like if you were to take like, um, like a really rich mocha and then water it down to lighten it up, that's the color that I think this is. It's not gold. It's not silver, it's it's like a watered down mocha. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really pretty. Let me see the length of these. So this one is a nice uh, eight inch strand for this. This one is five and a half inch strand. I can't wait to work with these. This one is another eight inch strand. And this one is 
five and a half. So we have all of these. And then we go to the two hole beads. Now this is like a kind of a pyramid. It's got a lot of striations in it. It's kind of like almost like a off white, but it's it's white. And then there's like a pinkish purple striation going through it. I don't know if I'm reflecting this too much in there. And if you look, there's the two holes right there. So this would be the bottom, that flat piece, and then this would be the top. Or you could do it the other way if you wanted to. But yeah, so you have this. This is six inches. It's very pretty. There's a lot you can do with these beads. And then these are the two hole, they're like discs. And if you look at them, they have, you can't tell so much from the side, but they're almost like a Picasso finish, I think. They have a lot of texture in them. And the, um, the let me see, on the, the uh, finish of them. And they're two hole. They're very soft and smooth. Holes are very well made. And these are four and a half inch, I think, looks like about. There's a lot you can do with these though. And then for the two hole beads, last but not least, these gorgeous, look at these, look at the different tones of blue and there's a little bit of a purplish hue to some of them. Look at that one, you just, and these are two hole beads as well. And these, this is, looks like a little more, like a four and a quarter inch strand, but you know, when you look at them, they're doubled up almost. So I'm sure if you open this up, this would be longer. If you put these side by side. But yeah, these are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to design some stuff with these. Then we have, let me, I'm going to put these in little, these containers as I open them up. These look like 11 O's. They're probably Miyuki seed beads, if I'm not mistaken. So we have, these are more like a matte purple. They're very solid in color. They don't have a lot of hue to them. They're just a solid um, purple, but they're really pretty though. Like when you're looking for a true purple color that doesn't have any other uh, hues to it, this would definitely be um, a bead you would use. And the holes look very even. The bees look very even. You could tell they're well made. So very pretty. So we've got this one. I love this mixture. I love that um, that orange, caramely orange that they sent. She sent too. And then this. This is almost like a grayish blue. Is how I would describe this. This does have a teeny bit of um, difference in color, but not really. And not like like these are just purple. These have a little bit of like a light gray and a few of them you can see difference, but they're still, when you look at them, they look blue. Yeah, they're really pretty. I love these. These. And then we've got, so we got two mats and then we got two sparklies. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at how pretty these are. I love the sparkle to them. And I love when you mix like matte with, with shiny beads, matte beads with shiny beads, sparkly beads, because they really, like you can put these two together and look at the difference, just seeing this, the shine and seeing the matte you could put them together and really create a unique design with these if you want, whether you're bead weaving or just making some seed bead bracelets or or whatever you're doing. These are so pretty. It's almost kind of like, 
don't, I don't know. I, I, it's almost like, um, I can't really describe the color. It's just, it's not orange. It's not brown. Uh, it's, it's like an orangey caramel. I guess it's the best way to describe it because caramel would be more of a light brown, but there is a little bit of an orange to it. Just a hint. It's like a caramely orange, I guess you could say. And then, last but not least, these beauties. Like I said, these are all 11 hours. Look at these now. Now these definitely have some sparkle to them. These have like a little bit of almost like a pink AB sparkle to them. So pretty. Absolutely love them. So these four seed beads, these would look beautiful together. And then you could add like, see like this goes with this, but then look at if you, were to mix this color with that. Look at, you could really create um, an abstract effect with whatever you're doing by mixing them. Or you could mix them with these because this has a little bit of the pink. So we've got these, you could do these. I mean, there's a lot you can do with these. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And like I said, I will leave the Beads to Live By link below and check out their website. And I will have a tutorial coming soon. I'm kind of marinating all this in my brain. <laughs> so, um, sorry, I had a sneeze. <laughs> so if you don't follow me on my uh, social media, I have all the links below, along with the link to Beads to Live By. Check them out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.